John Marsh may look like an ordinary man, but he has been training for three years for one of the most grueling competitions in the world. Day 28. I've been living on nothing but crickets in the roots of the Benawutsi tree for three days. My supply of water is running low, and I'm going to need to find another source soon. John is training to be the next reality TV show star. Yeah, I first started doing this stuff after I was hospitalized. Amber here was backing out of the driveway, and she ran clear over my foot with her Kia. I was really lucky I saw her. I could have swore she was looking right at me. Yeah, it's a real shame I missed you. Anyway, there wasn't a lot to do in the hospital bed. Amber wouldn't come to visit. She was still so upset over backing over my foot. She couldn't look at me without crying. So I started watching reality TV shows all day, and that's when I decided I was going to be one of the stars. Do you like the totem pole? Made it myself. Yeah, I've been out here for four hours or so. Amber really encourages me to get out of the house early. I'm gonna stand out here for 12 more hours and then go inside and eat a dozen and a half boiled eggs as fast as I can. Amber. You and I like parallel lines, baby. We get close, we never touch. Skew you. I brought you roses, but I don't want you to think that I'm just really thorny. Seriously, John, you got time to think up crap like that, but you can't get a job? I just wanted to let you know that if you pick me to be your Mr. Right, our love will be like these roses. You mean it'll dry up and all the petals will fall off? No, it'll be soft and delicate and beautiful. So the bros are not. Awesome! My stuff came! Yeah, these are night crawlers. They're really good for protein, and this is the kind of stuff that makes you go to fear factor. You gonna eat that stuff? Yeah, absolutely. What's in the can? This is grade D meat. Amber says it's really good for my immune system, and I like it better than that snarky grade A stuff they're allowed to sell in grocery stores. Now, if you don't mind. I gotta try and eat all this stuff in less than a minute. I told you to never touch my shoes, Ted. I saw what you did. I saw the scuff marks. I didn't say anything when I read all that other stuff. I never complained when I read a credit card debt. I never said a word when I read slumped with my dad. Those shoes meant everything to me, Ted. This is the last straw. I told you to never touch them. Scuff them! You're dead to me, Ted. Do you hear me? You're dead to me! Yeah, that'll be about it. Those are my extreme debate skills. I try to practice them at least twice a day. They're really important to develop. Hey, sweetie, do you have any ideas of what I can do this afternoon? Why don't you see how long you can keep your head in a bucket of water? Love you. See, that's why I keep Amber around. Most other girls would get upset because my dream comes before them. Never Amber. She's always thinking of great ideas on how I can train and get better at reality television. Like the time she went to the store for a week, she left an eight foot cobra in my bed. I don't even know where she got it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm just gonna play it by ear. Oh, I got a letter. It's from one of the shows. I'm accepted. I'm in. Doesn't that just say, please stop sending further applications? Yeah, but that means they got my applications. I'm a shoo in now. Whatever the future brings him, John's training will have him prepared for even the most discouraging of situations. As he follows his dreams into reality, he shows each of us the American dream is never out of reach, no matter how ridiculous it is.